Everything about your marketing, your website, your business card should answer this question, W-I-I-F-M, what's in it for me? From the client's vantage point. See, it's okay to brag on you. It's okay to say I have all these accolades and accomplishments. I was this, I was that, I've done this, I've done that. But when a client comes to your site, you know what they wanna know? What's in it for me? Are you wondering why people come to your website one time and never come back? Because there's nothing in it for them. So sure, brag on you. Talk about what you've accomplished because that, that lends to your credibility, but you gotta give them something that will make them come back again. And the more they come back, the more you set yourself up for them to pay you what it is, the expertise that you offer. Your marketing should also reflect on what the client is buying. Have you ever gone to McDonald's and you see somebody standing in line? McDonald's may be selling a burger and fries, but what is the client buying? They're not necessarily buying a burger and fries. They are buying the solution to their hunger pains. Because how many times have you been in the McDonald's line and you say to yourself, Lord, I know I should not be in this line. I do not need this Big Mac with extra sauce and this extra large supersized fry and this Coke. I don't need this, but why are you there? Because maybe you skip lunch. Maybe you skip lunch and breakfast and now the hunger is talking to you. So you're buying a solution to your hunger pains. But McDonald's is selling you the burger and fries. Maybe you go to CVS or Walgreens. They might be selling pain medicine, but what are you buying? You're buying a solution to that migraine headache that you have, or the flu, or the cold symptoms. So you have to be very clear about what your clients are buying, not necessarily what you're selling. Because when you know what they're buying, guess what? All of your marketing can speak to that person. See, I want my clients to be raising their hand. Lord, she's talking to me. How did she know? But you don't know that if you don't know what they're buying. You don't know that if you don't know what their pain points are.